Rabbit's Lighthouse. Peppa, George and Danny are having a day out on Grandad Dog's boat. Can we go to Pirate's Island today? Yes, Danny. But first, we've got to deliver supplies to my friend, Grampy Rabbit. Where does Grampy Rabbit live? On a rock. On a rock? Yes, in that lighthouse. Ooh. Ahoy there, matey. I brought your supplies. Oh, thank you, Grandad Dog. I've got my crew with me today. Danny, Pepper, and George. Visitors? I haven't had visitors in many a moon. I get a bit lonely with just the sea and sky for company. How long have you been here? Since Tuesday. Oh. I've got tales to tell, if you'd like to hear. No, thanks. Yes, please. Well, there's the sea and the sky and uh, I'm learning the banjo. Would you like to hear a song? No, thanks. Yes, please. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So was the sky. The sea, the sky, the sea, the sky. Here's your cheese. Oh, I've missed cheese. And a new book. How to run a lighthouse. Oh, that'll come in handy. Why is your house called a lighthouse? I'll show you, Pepper. The staircase goes round and round to the very top of the lighthouse. Round and round and round! <laughs> it's called a lighthouse because it has this big light at the top. Wow! It shines through the dark, helping sailors to find their way. Ooh. And when it's foggy, I use this foghorn. Fog! That's loud. No fog today, just sea and sky. The stories I could tell... No, thank you. We've got to go. We're sailing to Pirate Island. Goodbye, Grumpy Rabbit. Enjoy the sea and the sky. We will. Grandad Dog's boat has arrived at Pirate Island. Look, our sandcastle is still here. Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two, There are not three, many places to hide four, on Pirate Island. Five. Ready or not, here I come. Found you. Oh. Now, where's George? <laughs> Grandad Dog cannot find George anywhere. I give up. Where is he? Boo! George was hiding behind Grandad Dog. Clever George! <laughs> Let's set off home before it gets dark. Oh, it is getting dark. Don't worry. The light from Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse will show us the way home. Grampy Rabbit is ready for bed. Ah, <sighs> my new book, How to Run a Lighthouse. Chapter One. <sighs> I'll read the rest tomorrow. Better turn the light out. Oh, where did the light go? Do you know what time it is? I've just turned the lights out. Yes, we know. Could you turn the big light on again? Oh, sorry! It is getting foggy. I can't see the light anymore. It's us again. Could you sound the foghorn? Of course. Fog! I can hear something. Grampy Rabbit is guiding them home. His voice is a foghorn. This way home! The parents are here to pick up the children. Have you had a lovely time? We went to Pirate Island and to a lighthouse. Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse guided us home safely. That's nice. Grampy Rabbit sang a song. Would you like to hear it? No, thanks. Yes, yes please. please. Cruise ship holiday. <laughs> Today, Pepper and George are going on holiday with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Will you be OK without Pepper and George for a short while? <laughs> yes, I think we'll manage. Bye-bye, Goldie. I will miss you. Have a lovely holiday. And don't forget to call us on the phone. <laughs> Bye. 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 Where are we 
going, Granny? We're going on a cruise. Ooh, what is a cruise? It's a holiday on a big boat. Like your boat, Grandpa. Yes, but a bit bigger. The cruise ship should be here somewhere. It's there, Grandpa! I say, what a big boat. The cruise ship is a very big boat. All aboard! Welcome aboard the sunny ocean, our solar-powered cruise ship. Unbelievable. May I see your tickets? Thank you. I am Captain Otter. Enjoy your holiday. Please follow me to your cabin. A cabin is a bedroom on a ship. Ooh, a big bed, little bed, television. How civilised. And we can see the sea. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, it's so nice to get away from everything. Grandpa Pig! Oh, <laughs> fancy seeing you here. It is Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi. Yes, what luck. Pepper and George, maybe it's time we explored the ship. OK, then. Au revoir. Toodle, Pip. Pepper and George are exploring the cruise ship. I wonder what we will find. <laughs> George has found a paddling pool. <laughs> you can't paddle now, George. We are exploring. Oh. I can stay here with George. <laughs> oh, goody. <laughs> Which way now, Grandpa? Let's just keep walking. I say a jungle cafe, a video game room, a cinema. <gasps> and a lift. This boat has everything. Hooray! Soft play! <laughs> Peppa loves soft play. Whee! <laughs> Hello, I'm Rohan Rhino. I'm Peppa Pig. Have you ever been on a big boat before? I've never been on a boat this big. Peppa, I think we should be getting back now. OK, Grandpa. Bye, Rohan. See you tomorrow. We will just go back the way we came. Oh. Bookshop. Space cafe. This is not the way. I wonder where Pepper and Grandpa Pig have got to. <coughs> Come on, George. <coughs> Let's wait for them back at the cabin. Excuse me. Which way to the paddling pool, please? Just through that door. Thank you. No, this looks different. I think we're lost. Can I help you? Ah, uh, Captain Otter. This paddling pool is wrong. We have ten paddling pools on the ship. I see. Maybe we should just go back to our cabin. Of course. Your ticket will show you the way. Every ticket has a colour, a shape and a number. Blue, triangle, six. That's right. Just follow the arrows. Blue, this way, Grandpa. Triangle. <laughs> Busy! One, two, three, four, five, six. Papa, Grandpa Pig, wherever have you been? We got a bit lost. But clever Pepper found the way back again. Have some pizza. It was delivered to our cabin. Pizza, pizza! How civilised. I love this cruise ship holiday. <laughs> Everybody loves a cruise ship holiday. <laughs> swimming lesson. Today, Pepper and her friends are having a swimming lesson. They are in the little pool. The children can touch the bottom of the pool with their feet. <laughs> OK, let's start. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Has everyone got a float? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The floats are like spaghetti. Tuck the floats under your arms and swim about. The floats make swimming easy. I love swimming. Yay. I love swimming too. <laughs> Hello. It is Rebecca Rabbit with Mummy Rabbit. Hi, sister. Oh, hi, sister. Sorry we're late. No problem. We've only just started. <laughs> Look at me swim, Mummy. <laughs> that looks like so much fun. I wish I could swim. You can't swim. 
No, I never learnt. I'm a bit worried about water. Well, sister, I think it's about time you had a swimming lesson. Yes, you can join our lesson. Oh, I'm not sure. It's a children's class and I'm a bit old for lessons. You're never too old to learn something new. Please join us, Mummy. OK, then. I'll just change into a swimming costume. Right, I'm ready. Mummy Rabbit is going to join the children's swimming lesson. Oh, good. It's not deep. Yes, this is the little pool. OK, sister. Pick up a float. Tuck it under your arms. Now lift your feet up. OK. Oh, <laughs> look at me. I'm swimming. Well done, Mummy. Yes, sister. That's brilliant. This is such fun. Ah! I've got water on my face. A little splash of water is fine. But I don't like it. I didn't like it before. That's right. Gerald always kept his head high out of the water. But now I can swim with my face in the water. Amazing! But I could never do that. A little splash of water is fine. No, I can't put my head in the water. Gerald, can you show my sister what I taught you? Yes. Put your chin a teeny little bit in the water. Let's all do that. OK. That feels fine. And now we all... Blow bubbles! <laughs> OK. Here goes. <laughs> that was easy. Yes, very good, sister. And now we... Blow bubbles and swim along. Like this. <laughs> I'm doing it! <laughs> You're as good as me now, Mummy. <laughs> and now it's starfish time! Yay, starfish! The children lie on their backs like starfish and float. Very good, starfish. Do you think I could have a go? Of course. Lie on your back like me. OK. <laughs> Amazing! It works! I'm a starfish! <laughs> <laughs> well done, sister. And, as we've all done so well today, I'm going to get out the inflatables. Hooray! Inflatables are the best bit. There are lots of inflatables. <laughs> Fruit, a slide, and even an inflatable cheese. This is the biggest cheese in the world. <laughs> Look at me on the slide. <laughs> My goodness, that looks fun. Mummy, come and join us. Can I? Can I really? Of course. We can't let the children have all the fun. <laughs> Do the slide, Mummy. OK, here goes. <laughs> You're brilliant, Mummy! This is so much fun! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit loves swimming lessons. Everyone loves swimming lessons. Canoe trip! Pepper and her family are going on a canoe trip. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Can we have a canoe for the day, please? Yes, here you go. You'll need life jackets. <laughs> and paddles for Mummy and Daddy. Thanks. Have a lovely day. I'll call you when it's time to come back. Uh, which way do we go? You can go either way. Let's go that way. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> oh, we're not moving. And it's really hard work. That's because you're paddling against the flow of the river. Try going the other way. OK. Oh, that's much better. It is easier to paddle with the flow of the river. Happy canoeing! Pepper and her family are off on their canoe adventure. Let's pretend this is a jungle river. And we are the first explorers to ever come this way. Will we see wild animals? Oh, yes. All kinds of wild and fierce animals. It's Mrs Duck. <laughs> I wonder what other dangerous creatures are swimming in these waters. Will there be crocodiles? Well, we're not really in the 
jungle, so I don't think we'll see a crocodile. Ah! Hello there. Here is Mrs. Crocodile. Oh, hello. Are you having fun on the river? Yes. <laughs> Me too. I was just out for a swim. Lovely. Bye-bye. Bye. Look at those lovely plants on the riverbank. Yes. Let's stop and do a bit of jungle exploring. I hope we see a lion. Oh, I think it's unlikely we'll see a... <gasps> Hello there. It is Mr Lion. I'm having a picnic. Would you like to be part of it? Uh, I've got lots of lovely fruit and a big bowl of salad. Ooh, my favourite. Yes, salad. What could be a better lunch? Mr Lion likes picnics. Everyone likes picnics. So, you're canoeing down the river. Yes, we're having an adventure. Ha oh, ha, fantastic. I think you'll like the next bit of the river. It's very exciting. I like exciting. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Hmm, I wonder what Mr Lion meant when he said the next bit would be exciting. Careful not to hit that rock, Daddy Pig. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. It's only one little rock. See? That was easy. More rocks, Daddy! The river is going faster now. Ah! Hold tight, everybody! Whee! Oh, watch out! <laughs> We survived. That was the best. Again, again. Yes. Let's go through the exciting bit again. 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 Uh, if I can possibly avoid it, I never want to go through that bit of river again. What's that noise? It's time to come back. Oh, we have to take the canoe back. Ah, yes. So we do have to go through that bit again. Ready, Mummy Pig? Ready. Steady, go! <laughs> it is very hard work to paddle against the flow of the river. We are going really slowly. Hi again. Do you need a push? Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Amazing. How are you moving against the flow without paddling? <laughs> Hi there. Mrs Crocodile, you startled me. Oh, sorry, Miss Rabbit. I was just giving them some help. Yes. Thank you so much, Mrs Crocodile. You're very welcome. That was the best canoe trip in the world ever. Peppa <laughs> loves canoe trips. <laughs> Everyone loves canoe trips. <laughs> Undersea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday. Party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are and it's tomorrow. Oh. I see. OK. Keep calm. Don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. You did all this in one night? It's unbelievable. 
Happy birthday, Goldie. <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone. Happy birthday, Goldie. <laughs> This is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. <laughs> Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak. But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Yeah. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> The biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish, it's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <coughs> OK, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is! Hooray! Well done! You've found the treasure! It's teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. <coughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, Goldie. Goldie loves <laughs> undersea parties. Everybody <laughs> loves <laughs> undersea parties. Danny's pirate bedroom. Pepper is going to Danny Dog's house for the day. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> Hello, Danny. Pepper, you're just in time to help. We're doing a bedroom makeover for Danny. That sounds like fun. <laughs> I'll see you later, Pepper. Bye, Daddy. <coughs> what is a bedroom makeover? It's like on TV, when they make the room look completely different. Ooh. I'm going to have a pirate bedroom. Aha! I've already got a pirate bed. <coughs> And today we're going to decorate the whole bedroom. On the walls, we are going to paint the sea. On the ceiling, there will be stars. When I sleep, it will be like I'm sailing on the sea. <laughs> ah, yes, the sea. I remember those days. Free to sail my boat wherever I wanted, under a starry sky, in search of sea monsters. <laughs> Those days are over. Now I'm back home and I'll never sail the sea again. Captain Dog misses the sea. Right then, let's get this bedroom makeover started. We'll cover the room with sheets. This will stop everything getting paint on it. And to keep paint off our clothes, we'll put on overalls. <laughs> this dark blue paint is for the sky. It's going to be a night sky. Ooh. Mummy Dog paints the ceiling using a roller with a long, long handle. Can we help? Of course. Here are your brushes. Let's do the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Big waves, just like the real sea. I'll do some storm clouds. Can we put the stars on the ceiling? We certainly can. <laughs> oh, the ceiling's too high. Huh, I can't reach. Let's give you some help. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder. 
what you are. <laughs> the sky is full of stars. And they look even better when the lights are out. Ooh, the stars are glittery. Danny's pirate bedroom is done. It's just like when they do the makeovers on TV. Um, on TV, the person has to open their eyes and say, what a surprise. But you've already seen it all. <laughs> I can pretend I haven't. Good idea, Danny. Yes, let's make it even better by having you step outside the room. Close your eyes. And let's close the door. Are you ready, Danny? Yes, I'm ready. Keep your eyes closed. I will. <laughs> OK, in you come. No peeking. <laughs> now open your eyes. What a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> okay, me hearties. Who is ready to set sail? Me, me. me. Let's climb aboard the ship. <laughs> Where shall we sail to, Captain Danny? Ha ha! Let's look for sea monsters. Sea monsters, you say? That sounds like a grand adventure to me. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favorite place to be. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favorite place to be. We are sailing on the sea. Yes, what could be better? Sail in the sea and staying at home. This is the best pirate bedroom ever. Aha! <laughs> Danny loves pirate bedrooms. Everyone loves pirate bedrooms. <laughs> Canyon country. Pepper and George are in America on their way to Hollywood. Look at that view. It's like the moon. Are we on the moon, Mummy? <laughs> no, Pepper. We might be lost, but we can't be that lost. Can we, Daddy Pig? Uh. Stop! Here is Mr. Buffalo. He is digging up the road. Excuse me, but is this Hollywood? No! This is the desert! Oh. Has it always been the desert? Well, a long time ago, it was actually the sea. The sea? Yeah. If you look in the sand, there are seashells. Look, George, this was the seaside. <laughs> but now it's desert for miles and miles and miles. So which way is Hollywood, please? That way. Thank, Thank you. you. The desert is going on for miles and miles and miles and oh, miles. Oh, we're nearly there miles. yet. <laughs> no, not yet, Peppa. America is a very big country. It feels like we could go on forever. Stop! It's Mr. Buffalo again. I'm not Mr. Buffalo. I'm Mr. Bison. Ah. Oh. Are you digging up the road? No, miss. This here is a canyon. Ooh, that's a big hole. Yes, it is. 277 miles long, 18 miles wide, one mile deep. Wow, and you dug that hole all by yourself. No, sir, I did not dig it. That canyon was carved out by a river a long time ago. Ooh. If y'all want to know more, there's an information desk over there. Hey, how you doing? I'm Miss Rabbit. Oh, it's another Miss Rabbit. Yeah, there's a lot of us about. Would you like a tour of the canyon? Yes, yes please. please. Then hop in. <laughs> wow! Amazing, isn't it? It certainly is. These rocks have been here since the time of the dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any dinosaurs now, but many wonderful animals live in the canyon. There's an eagle! Wow. wow! The next part of the tour is by boat. Boat? This rope ladder is for your convenience. What? You want us to climb down? Yes! Down you go! 
what do we do now? Just sit back and go with the flow! Okay. Just watch out for the rapids! Yes, lots of fun. Look, caves! Wow, just think. We might be the first to ever enter these caves. Postcards, drinks, <laughs> snacks. Huh? Welcome to the Canyon Caves. Come and have a look. These were homes for the people who lived here a long time ago. They drew pictures of all the animals that lived here. Look, there's the eagle. Ooh. And that is the end of the tour. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. My pleasure. Where are you off to now? We're going to Hollywood to be in a movie with Super Potato and Hash Brown. Wow, I would love to be in a movie with Hash Brown. You can come too if you like. Oh, that's very kind, but I'm so busy here. You have a great time in Hollywood. We will. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Enjoy Hollywood. Pepper and her family are on their way to Hollywood. The lifeboat. Today, Captain Dog is taking Danny and Pepper to visit the lifeboat. Ahoy there, young sailors. Ahoy there. Rabbit. Rabbit. We were hoping you could tell us all about the lifeboat. Of course. Hop aboard. <laughs> Lifeboats rescue people when they get into trouble at sea. Ooh. You wouldn't believe the number of people who set sail without a moment's thought. Yes. All they had to do was follow a couple of simple rules. Before setting sail, check the weather. Nice and sunny is good for sailing. And always take a phone in case you need to call for help. Simple rules, but it's amazing how many people don't follow them. And then they have to be rescued by my lifeboat. How does the lifeboat rescue them? Good question, Pepper. First, we ring this bell. <coughs> then I pull this lever and uh, whoosh! The lifeboat shoots down this ramp, making a huge splash to the rescue! Wow! Can I pull the lever now? No, Daddy. The lever can only be pulled in a real rescue. The lifeboat won't be launched today. Oh. Thank you for showing us the lifeboat, Grammy Rabbit. You're most welcome. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. All that talk of sailing makes me wish I could set sail again. But, Dad, you're staying at home now. Oh, yes. That's right. I promise to never set sail ever, ever, ever again. Mmm. I fancy a bit of cheese. Grampy Rabbit likes cheese. Oh! There is no cheese in the fridge. No problem. I'll just get some more. This is Madam Cow's cheese shop. It is on a little rock out at sea. Hello. Hello there. Uh, do you by any chance have any cheese? Of course. This is a cheese shop. We have lots and lots of cheese. Goodbye. Good, they've got cheese. Oh, but what if they sell all the cheese before I get over there? I'd better hurry! Oh dear, Grumpy Rabbit has set sail without his phone. And he has set sail without checking the weather. Oh, the motor seems to be broken. Maybe I should have checked the weather. Grampy Rabbit is out at sea, all on his own. And I don't seem to have my phone. How can I call for help? I suppose I could try my voice. That's quite loud. Grampy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. It's Grampy Rabbit. He needs rescuing. Quick, back to the lifeboat. All aboard the lifeboats! Aye, Captain Dog! 
Peppa, ring the bell. <laughs> Wait, I said I would never sail again. But Grumpy Robin needs rescuing. You're right. Daddy, pull the lever. This is brilliant. The lifeboat goes very fast. <laughs> You saved me! Hooray! Uh, would you mind if we carried on over to the cheese shop? Hello. Uh, one piece of cheese, please. Of course. What took you so long? Uh, I got into a bit of trouble on the sea. And we rescued Grumpy Rabbit. Yes, you did a fine job. Uh, and the good thing is that now you have seen exactly how the lifeboat works. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit loves the lifeboat. Everybody loves the lifeboat. Trampolines! Pepper and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> this is brilliant! Yes, but these mini trampolines are for little children. <coughs> these are the trampolines for big children like us. <coughs> now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> I love bouncing. <laughs> I am bouncing higher than the star. Me too. And me. <laughs> bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I think I'll have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. <laughs> Grown-ups are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bounce bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high! Not too high, Mummy Pig! Bouncing in the sky! <laughs> Woo! 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 Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, trampoline park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. Help! I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue. My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes. It's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Whee! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. This is unbelievable! 
unbelievable! Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? <laughs> that was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounced on trampolines, you must bounce safely. Thank you, Pepper. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Pepper loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Christmas with Kylie Kangaroo. Pepper and her family are going to visit Kylie Kangaroo in Australia. I can't wait to see Kylie. Yes. It's going to be such a brilliant Christmas staying with Kylie's family. You did tell them we were coming, didn't you, Daddy Pig? No, I thought you did. Oh, well, it'll be a nice surprise for them. It is Christmas morning. Pepper and her family have arrived at Kylie's house. Hello, Mr Kangaroo. Oh, my goodness. You're all here again. We've come to spend Christmas with you. Um, uh, what an amazing surprise. Here are Mrs Kangaroo, Joey and Kylie. <gasps> Peppa! Happy Christmas, Kylie. Happy Christmas. Pepper and <laughs> Kylie are such good friends. Well, you've arrived at just the right time. We're off to the beach. The beach? On Christmas Day? Yes. It's always hot here at Christmas time. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> oh, look! Mr Wallaby is here. Hello, Mr Wallaby. Well, blow me down if it isn't our friends from far away. Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas, Pepper! What are you doing? I'm getting the barbie fired up and ready to cook Christmas lunch! Ooh. We're going to have corn on the cob. Hooray! Hooray! Everyone likes corn on the cob. Christmas on the beach is great. The only thing that would make it better would be snow. <laughs> but this is Australia, mate. We never have snow at Christmas. Pepper, does it snow at your Christmases? Yes, it always snows. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen real snow. What is it like? Hmm. Snow is cold. And snow is fluffy. And when you walk in snow, it is grunchy. Snow sounds so nice. What else can you do with it? Make a snowman. We use sticks for the arms, stones for the eyes and mouth, and a carrot for the nose. <laughs> <laughs> We do the same on the beach, but with sand instead of snow. What? We use sand to make the body and head. Driftwood for the arms. Beach pebbles for the eyes and mouth. <laughs> and a corn cob for the nose. Wow! What could be more Christmassy than that? Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> I brought presents! Thank you! <laughs> Pepper has a spade. <laughs> George has a bucket. <laughs> we can make a sandcastle on Christmas Day! Ta-da! <laughs> Joey has a beach ball. Boing, boing! And Kylie has... Ooh! It's... it's a... what is it? It's a snow globe, Kylie. Yeah, you shake it to make it snow. <gasps> it's snowing. The snow globe is full of gently falling snow. Oh, Struth, that's a wonderful sight. Snow, I've got my own snow. And that was my last delivery this year. Now I can take my boots off and relax. Paddling in the sea on Christmas Day. Yes, what could be better? <laughs> I like paddling. <laughs> I reckon the corn cobs are ready. Tuck in, everyone. Mmm, delicious. Oh, Christmas.
Christmas at the beach is so good. Kylie Kangaroo loves Christmas at the beach. <laughs> Everyone loves Christmas at the beach. The tractor. Peppa and George are visiting Mrs Badger's farm. Peppa, George, can you guess what you'll see at the farm today? <laughs> no, George, there won't be a dinosaur, but there will be a tractor. What's a tractor? They're like cars with big wheels, and they can drive through mud. I love tractors. It is a traffic jam. <coughs> Come on, get a move on. Beeping won't make the cars go any faster, Daddy Pig. We just have to be patient. Oh, what's blocking the road? Mrs Badger is driving her tractor. Thank you for your patience. Hi there, Mrs Badger. We were just talking about tractors. Peppa and George have come to see your farm. Oh, good. Follow me. Here is the farm. Danny Dog, Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are visiting too. We'll pick you up later. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Hello there, my lovelies. Hello, Mrs Badger. Now, before I show you the farm, I'd like you all to wash your hands. <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, 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 wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Very good. Now, let's have a look at my tractor. Hasn't she a beauty? Yes, she's lovely. She's got big, chunky wheels and a strong engine to pull things along. The tractor is pulling a trailer. Hop in, everybody. Let's go for a tractor ride. Hooray! <laughs> Here is a field of long grass. The field is ready to be cut. You wait here and watch. I put a cutter on the front, a baler on the back, and the tractor does all the work. The tractor is cutting and making bales. Wow! Job done. All thanks to my tractor. The trailer is joined to the tractor again. On with the tour. <laughs> it's very muddy here. Will we get stuck? No. Tractors are good at driving through mud. <laughs> and now we're going to drive along the road. Thank you for your patience. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to pick up Peppa and George. Oh, no. We're stuck in a traffic jam again. <laughs> like you said, Mummy Pig, we just have to be patient. Or maybe we could take a shortcut. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I know what I'm doing. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut. Uh -huh. No traffic jam for us. This is brilliant. I think we're stuck. Look, that's our car. Do you need help? No, thanks. We're fine. Um, we might be a little bit stuck. Perhaps we could use some help. Of course. Hold tight. Thank you for rescuing us, Mrs. Badger. Don't thank me. Thank my tractor. Oh, yes. Thank you, tractor. Tractors are the best. Peppa loves tractors. Everybody loves tractors. Skateboarding. Today, Peppa, George, Mummy, and Daddy Pig are at the park. Peppa has her scooter. <laughs> George has his tricycle. <laughs> Mummy Pig has her bicycle. And 
Daddy Pig has his skateboard. Daddy, can I have a go on your skateboard? Skateboarding is quite difficult, even for a grown-up like me. Yes, you don't have anything to hold on to. Please, can I have a go? Well, maybe Daddy could give you a lesson. Yes, I think you're just old enough to learn. Yippee! It's best to start off slowly, like this. Daddy Pig is good at skateboarding. Now it's your turn, Peppa. Yay! Put one foot on the board and push with the other. <laughs> well done, Peppa. And now try it with both feet on the board. Look at me! Whoa! Well done! <laughs> I can skateboard! It is Belinda Bear and Simon Squirrel. They are big children. Hey, Peppa! Yo! Hello! Is that your skateboard? It's my daddy's. Can you skate on it? Yes! My daddy taught me. He's the best skateboarder in the world. Well, I suppose I am a bit of an expert at it. Really? So, what do you make of these ramps? Oh. <laughs> wow! Amazing! Simon and Belinda are very good at skateboarding. Peppa, would you like to try? Yes, but I can't skate like you. Hmm, but only because we're older than you. Yes, we're almost grown-ups. I'm nearly ten. Wow! Maybe you big children could give Peppa a lesson. Yes, please. OK, we'll teach you. As long as you keep it slow and safe. Of course, we'll keep it real cool. Let's go down this little ramp. I'm here to catch you, Peppa. OK, Daddy. I'm here to catch you too. <laughs> George is helping as well. <laughs> now, Peppa, put both feet on the board. Yes, I've done that before. And we'll give you a little push. Um, it looks high. I'll take you a bit lower. Ready now? It's still quite high. How about here? OK. Wow! I did it! I did it! Well done, Peppa. Yes, you did brilliantly. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Watch this. <laughs> Oof! Are you all right? Yes, I think so. She's fine. When you're learning to skateboard, there's lots of falling off. Yes, that's why helmets are ace. Wow! That's so good! Can you do that, Daddy? Um, I expect I could if I wanted to. Please show us, Mr Pig. Oh, all right. Um, Daddy Pig, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Right, have you ever been on a ramp before? Not as such. Wow! He's gone to the highest ramp. Oh, and realised quite how high this was. <laughs> Maybe I'll... Wow! Look at him go! Ah! <laughs> My goodness! That was awesome! Unbelievable! My daddy is the best at skateboarding because he is very old. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> daddy Pig loves skateboarding. Everyone loves skateboarding. Roller disco! Peppa and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> I love roller discos. Bye, Me too. Madame Gazelle is in charge. Keep going round and round in a circle, children. <laughs> Peppa and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good at skating. <laughs> Peppa and George love roller skating. <laughs> Whoa! Are you OK, Emily? Yes, Daddy. I'm fine. 
Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big clap, children. Clap, clap. <sighs> I wish we could play something grown up. Clap, Belinda clap, Bear clap. is nearly ten years old. What should we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh, I can't seem to find the wheels on the bus. Look, there it is. Ah, uh, thank you, Madam Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go. <sighs> This is fun. It's the first time I've been to one of these things. How many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. <laughs> the children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! Hello, Peppa! Hello, George! Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Come on, let's skate together. <laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Pedro! <laughs> Everyone go the same way so you don't bump into each other. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, Mummy! <laughs> Hello, Randy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello! Ah, hello again, Peppa. Hello again, Daddy. <laughs> hello again, Emily. What a surprise seeing you here. <laughs> All day long. Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good. I've got just the one. Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> We have to be quicker with our own music next time. Yes, I've got it ready to play. Wow, Daddy's going backwards. How do you do that? I don't know. Quick, it's over. Put our record on. Yeah, time for some real music. Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all-time favorite song. Skate on <laughs> down <laughs> to disco <laughs> town. Madam <laughs> Gazelle's roller skates are flashing. Skate on down to the disco wow. town. That's incredible. <laughs> Madam Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. I wish I could do that. Me too. And me. All together. Everyone join in. <laughs> Hello, Emily. Hello, Mummy. Hello, Mandy. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Molly. Hello, Mummy. Hello again, Peppa. This is the best roller disco ever. <laughs> Peppa loves roller disco. Everyone loves roller disco. Woodland Club. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Woodland Club. Mr Wolf is in charge. Children, please come to the middle. Mummies and daddies, please stand back and watch. <laughs> now, children, I know all about living in the woods. I was born in the woods and I was raised by a family of wolves. Today, I will teach you how to look after yourselves out here in the wild. Wow! Imagine you're on your own, far from home, no one else around. <coughs> oh, sorry. Carry on. No one else around. What do you do if it starts to rain? Get wet. Ah, but what if you don't want to get wet? Go home. But remember, you are far from home. I've got an umbrella. Y yes, all right. But sometimes the only thing to keep you warm and dry in the woods is a shelter. Ooh. It's like a little house. It'll keep out the rain. And it will keep you warm from the wind. 
You make a shelter using sticks and other stuff found in the woods. Wow! Who wants to try? Me! me, me. Off you go then. <laughs> Here are some sticks. <laughs> this leaf can be the flag. It's finished. Well done. OK, who would like to test the shelter? I will. Are you warm and cosy in there, Mr Pig? Oh, oh, yes! I like my little house of sticks. Good. Let's see if your little house keeps out the rain. Ah! The water goes straight through the roof. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Did the house keep out the rain? No! Let's see if the house keeps out the wind. I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. <gasps> Whoa! Daddy Pig's house is gone. Oh, dear. Maybe the children should have used bricks. A brick house would be good, Mr Pig. But there aren't any bricks to be found in the woods. Only sticks and leaves. But we've tried sticks and leaves. We're going to have another go. First, collect big sticks, like this one. Off you go. <laughs> Here's a big stick. Here's a bigger stick. Here's the biggest stick in the world. Very good. Let's have that big stick here. Lay your sticks along here. Now we need little sticks to go over the roof. <laughs> little sticks. Teeny sticks. Itsy witsy ickle sticks. Use the little sticks like this. <laughs> Is it finished? Nearly. We just need lots and lots of leaves. Leaves! <laughs> lots of leaves. Loads of leaves. Bundles and jumbles of leaves. <laughs> wow, it's a cosy house now. It certainly is. Daddy Pig, please go inside. Um, maybe somebody else should have all the fun of testing it this time. Me! Are you ready, children? Yes! First, the rain. Is the rain coming in? No! <laughs> now the wind. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> Did you feel the wind? No! The little house is very strong. So that, children, is how you build a shelter in the woods. Hooray! Oh, it's raining. All the grown-ups are getting wet. But Pepper and her friends are lovely and dry in their little house. This is fun! Pepper loves the Woodland Club. Everybody loves the Woodland Club. Adventure. Pepper and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. What game should we play today? Let's play adventures. Outside our clubhouse is a forest full of yes, dangerous yes, yes. wild yes, animals. Yes, yes. I'll email the numbers over later when I've got access to the... The trip. wild animals are yes, outside. As long as we stay inside, we are safe. I love this game. <laughs> the spreadsheet numbers were copy and pasted from documents. Daddy! Daddy! Uh, I'll call you back. Someone's asking me something. You have to be a wild animal. Oh, oh, I think I can manage that. You are in a forest. OK. I'll be a wild pig. <laughs> I'm a dangerous wild pig living in the forest. And we are safe in our little house. <laughs> we need more wild animals. Mummy! Yes, Mandy? You have to be a scary animal. Um, OK. I will be a wild mouse. Squeak, squeak. <gasps> Mummy, that's not even a little bit scary. Sorry. Can you growl? Growl? Well, I could have a go, but I'm not sure. Grrr. Oh, my goodness, Mummy Polar Bear. You gave me a shock. Grrr. Polar bears Grrr. like growling. Wow, they are good. My mummies are best at growling. Grrr. 
<laughs> Lucky we're safe inside. <laughs> you can't get us. Our house is too strong. What's your house made of? Straw, sticks or brick? Um, it's made of... plastic? Jolly good. Let's see how strong it is. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. The clubhouse is very strong. Impressive. Yes, Daddy. So you will have to stay outside with the other wild animals. Let's make the game more scary. Yes! We can pretend there's a jungle outside. With real jungle animals. We need a jungle animal. Like a tiger. Oh, I can sound like a tiger. Is that any good? No. Well, how about a lion? Stop, Mummy. My friends are here. I can roar. That's really good. Oh, oh, I am a bit of an expert. No one can do a lion better than me. Roar. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, everyone. Uh, hello, Mr. Lion. Hello. And here is Mrs. Crocodile. Uh, we've had a problem at the zoo. Uh, don't panic, but some animals have escaped. <laughs> oh. Oh. We heard lots of strange noises coming from here and wondered if the zoo animals had passed this way. Uh, those noises were just us. We were playing at being wild animals. I see. <laughs> we'll be on our way then. Um, these escaped animals you're looking for, what are they? Do they have big teeth? No, they've got beaks. Do they roar? No, they make a sound like... <laughs> It is the penguins from the zoo. Oh, they're so cute. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you are, you cheeky penguins. <laughs> they're always running away. They think having me and Mrs. Crocodile chase after them is a fun game. Hello, penguins. Would you like to see our clubhouse? Here's the slide. And here is our swing. Penguins, do you like our clubhouse? The penguins love the clubhouse. <laughs> Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Parachute games. It is a lovely sunny day at Playgroup. Pepper and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. I'm painting a rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now it's time for play. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Look what I have. It's a rainbow parachute. And we are going to play games with it. Ooh! First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding on to the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this. <laughs> Look at the way the parachute moves. It is like the sea. Imagine a little boat sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobby bobby bobbing, bobbing around. The boat bobs up and down. And the little boat sails away. Say bye-bye to the boat. Bye-bye. OK, now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. Together, we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle. One, two, three, and lift. Up, up, up. And let go. Wow. The parachute looks like a flying saucer. 
I'm a flying saucer, I spin through space. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. It really is spinning! Wow! How does it do that? If you want the full explanation, I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter and the corn is ready to pop. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Wow! You're playing parachute games! Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Well, we could all play the rainbow game. Yes, please! <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. <laughs> Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy sunny day. The rainbow's here today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy sunny day. It's the best rainbow Peppa loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. Ooh. Little cars. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights, and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Peppa. Ooh. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beep the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> Mandy Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car. <laughs> I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Happy children enjoying themselves. <laughs> Which way do we go? Any way you like. <laughs> It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. 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 What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. <laughs> Stop! You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. But we are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beep. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit, would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. I'm an old lady. You see, children, old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. 
We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes, I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! Yeah! Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop. Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can go! Now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I hope you've learnt at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um, don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everyone loves little cars. <laughs> Flying discs. Today, Peppa and her family have come to play in the park. Look what I've brought along. What is it? It's a flying disc. <laughs> wow, that is good. Yes, flying discs are brilliant. <laughs> to you, Mummy Pig. <laughs> to you, Peppa. <laughs> to you, Daddy. Oh, it didn't fly. It's OK, Peppa. You just have to spin the disc in a special way. Hold it flat and then spin it. OK. Hold it flat and spin it. To you, George. <laughs> Throw the disc to me, George. <laughs> Got you. To you, Pepper. What? disc isn't red. Whose disc is that? It is Danny Dog and his daddy. Hi, Peppa. Hi, Danny. Good. You caught our disc. Ah, oh, it's your disc. Yes. Can you spin it back to me? OK. To you, Danny. <laughs> what? Another disc. Hello, Peppa. It is Mandy Mouse and her mummy. Have you seen Disc. Yes, I caught it. <laughs> That's my disc. OK, Mandy, are you ready? Yes. Steady? Yes. Catch. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Here is Susie Sheep and her mummy. Hi, Susie. Have you got a flying disc? Yes, it's the best flying disc in the world. It has flashing lights and plays music. Ooh! Great! So where is this amazing disc? Um, well, you see, the thing is... Mum threw it in a tree. Mummy Sheep threw Susie's flying disc into the top of a tall tree. It's very high up. Hmm, too high to climb. No problem. We'll just knock that disc out with this one. No, Dad! <gasps> <gasps> ah, that's not what was supposed to happen. But it was a good idea. I wonder if I can knock both of them out of the tree. No, Mummy! <gasps> <gasps> Looks like we've got the only disc left. Shall I try and knock the others out of the tree? OK, Daddy, but do it right. Oh, 
all the discs are stuck in the tree. Don't worry, I know a way to get the discs down. You remember how I shook an apple tree to get apples down? Yes! All the apples fell on Daddy's head. <laughs> it was funny. Yes, really funny. So, this is the same sort of idea. I might need a bit of help. This is a big tree. Right then. Squeeze! Oh, I think it's working. Keep shaking, Daddy. Shake harder, Mummy. Come on, Mum. Put some effort in. I'm trying my best. Right. Oh. Susie's flying disc has flashing lights and plays music. Wow! <laughs> to you, Danny! To you, Peppa! <laughs> Peppa loves flying discs. <laughs> Everybody loves flying discs. <laughs> Skateboarding. Today, Peppa, George, Mummy and Daddy Pig are at the park. Peppa has her scooter. <laughs> George has his tricycle. <laughs> Mummy Pig has her bicycle. And Daddy Pig has his skateboard. Daddy, can I have a go on your skateboard? Skateboarding is quite difficult, even for a grown-up like me. Yes, you don't have anything to hold on to. Please, can I have a go? Well, maybe Daddy could give you a lesson. Yes, I think you're just old enough to learn. Yippee! It's best to start off slowly, like this. Daddy Pig is good at skateboarding. Now it's your turn, Peppa. Yay! Put one foot on the board and push with the other. <laughs> well done, Peppa. And now try it with both feet on the board. Well done! <laughs> I can skateboard! It is Belinda Bear and Simon Squirrel. They are big children. Hey, Peppa! Yo! Hello! Is that your skateboard? It's my daddy's. Can you skate on it? Yes! My daddy taught me. He's the best skateboarder in the world. Well, I suppose I am a bit of an expert at it. Really? So, what do you make of these ramps? Oh. <laughs> wow! Amazing! Simon and Belinda are very good at skateboarding. Peppa, would you like to try? Yes, but I can't skate like you. Hmm, but only because we're older than you. Yes, we're almost grown up. I'm nearly ten. Wow! Maybe you big children could give Pepper a lesson. Yes, please. OK, we'll teach you. As long as you keep it slow and safe. Of course, we'll keep it real cool. Let's go down this little ramp. I'm here to catch you, Pepper. OK, Daddy. I'm here to catch you too. <laughs> George is helping as well. <laughs> now, Pepper. Put both feet on the board. Yes, I've done that before. And we'll give you a little push. Um, it looks high. I'll take you a bit lower. Ready now? It's still quite high. How about here? OK. Wow! I did it! I did it! Well done, Pepper. Yes, you did brilliantly. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Watch this! Oof! Are you all right? Yes, I think so. She's fine. When you're learning to skateboard, there's lots of falling off. Yes, that's why helmets are ace. Wow! That's so good! Can you do that, Daddy? Um... I expect I could if I wanted to. Please show us, Mr Pig. Oh, 
All right. Um, Daddy Pig, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Right. Have you ever been on a ramp before? Not as such. Wow! He's gone to the highest ramp. Oh. I hadn't realised quite how high this was. <laughs> Maybe I'll... Wow! Look at him go! My goodness! That was awesome! Unbelievable! My daddy is the best at skateboarding because he is very old. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves skateboarding. Everyone loves skateboarding. A great big trolley safari. Madame Gazelle is taking Pepper and her friends on a school trip. Today, children, we are going on a creepy crawly safari. Ooh. Madame Gazelle, Pedro isn't here. Pedro Pony, why are you always late? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Stephen wanted to come too. Stephen? He's my stick insect. OK, you can bring Stephen, but it's your job to look after him. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! Then let's go! <laughs> Here is the Creepy Crawly Safari. Will we see big, scary animals on the safari? Oh, no, Danny. Any creatures we see today will be very tiny and not scary at all. Roar. Ah! Here is Mr Lion. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr Lion. Welcome to my safari. Mr Lion. You startled me for a moment. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mrs Wildebeest. The name is Madame Gazelle. Oh, silly me. I must try and remember. Gazelle, not wildebeest. The children are very excited about the safari. Great. Today, they will meet little insects living in their natural home, the wild. Stephen doesn't live in the wild. Ah, we have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the Creepy Crawly Safari. <laughs> Here we are in the wild wood, full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here, try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass <laughs> makes tiny things look big. Ah, oh, a ladybird. <laughs> oh, how charming. Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the rocky wilderness. Here we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs, so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now we arrive at the grass savanna, the home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh. <laughs> are they super jumpers? <laughs> they are! Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> That's the thing about insects. One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone! <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh no! Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry, he can't have got far. Yes, everyone look for Stephen. Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Oh dear, Stephen is lost in the wild. Maybe it's for the best, hmm? 
All animals are happier following their natural instincts, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> Look, Stephen's come back. Welcome home, Stephen. Stephen the stick insect likes the creepy crawly safari, but he likes his own home the best. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are at playgroup with their friends. Children, today we are going to play with hoops. Ooh. Playing with hoops is a super fun way to exercise. And exercise is good for you. Yes, exercise gets your body working and your heart pumping. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take a hoop each. <laughs> there are lots of ways to exercise with a hoop. We will start by throwing it into the air like this. Hoopla! And catch. Now you try. Hoopla! <laughs> Very good. Now let's try rolling your hoops along the floor and running after them. <laughs> now, lie your hoops on the ground and jump from one hoop to the other. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 now we come to the very best bit. Spin the hoop around your middle like this. Wow! Madam Gazelle is spinning the hoop around her middle. You try! <laughs> Everyone is trying to spin their hoops. Madam Gazelle, I can't do it. It's not working. My hoop is not very spinny. It is difficult to spin a hoop around your middle. Don't be sad if you cannot do it straight away. It takes a lot of practice to get it right. It is home time. Take your hoops and practice at home, children. <laughs> Look, Mummy, we've got hoops to take home. Oh, wonderful. Daddy, Daddy, look what we've got. Wow, hoops. They are for exercise. I see. Madam Gazelle says exercise makes your heart go, uh, boom, bang, boom. That sounds great. You throw them up in the air like this. Hoopla! Hoopla! And catch them like this. Very good, Daddy. <laughs> And you roll them like this. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> and you jump on them like this. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. You can do it too, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was good. My heart is certainly going boom, bang, boom. <laughs> but the best thing ever is to spin the hoop like this. Oh. Uh, it's very hard to do. May I have a go? OK. But don't be sad if you can't do it, Mummy. Right, here we go. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig can spin the hoop. Wow! Very good! Have another go, Pepper. Ready, steady, go. Ah, uh, I'll never do it. I've got an idea. Hold on, don't move. Where is Daddy going now? <laughs> I think this will do it. You've got to spin. What you need is music to spin to. Ready, steady, go. Peppa can spin her hoop. George can spin his hoop. We're doing it, George! <laughs> you clever piggies! Peppa and George love spinning hoops. Everybody loves spinning hoops. <laughs> the tractor. Peppa 
and George are visiting Mrs Badger's farm. Peppa, George, can you guess what you'll see at the farm today? Dinosaur! <laughs> no, George, there won't be a dinosaur, but there will be a tractor. What's a tractor? They're like cars with big wheels and they can drive through mud. I love tractors. It is a traffic jam. Come on, get a move on. Beeping won't make the cars go any faster, Daddy Pig. We just have to be patient. Oh, what's blocking the road? Mrs Badger is driving her tractor. Thank you for your patience. Hi there, Mrs Badger. <laughs> we were just talking about tractors. Pepper and George have come to see your farm. Oh, good. Follow me. Here is the farm. Danny Dog, Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are visiting too. <laughs> we'll pick you up later. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Hello there, my lovelies. Hello, Mrs Badger. Now, before I show you the farm, I'd like you all to wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, 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 wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Very good. Now, let's have a look at my tractor. Hasn't she a beauty? Yes, she's lovely. She's got big, chunky wheels and a strong engine to pull things along. The tractor is pulling a trailer. Hop in, everybody. Let's go for a tractor ride. Hooray! <laughs> Here is a field of long grass. The field is ready to be cut. You wait here and watch. I put a cutter on the front, a baler on the back, and the tractor does all the work. The tractor is cutting and making bales. Wow! Job done. All thanks to my tractor. The trailer is joined to the tractor again. On with the tour! It's very muddy here. Will we get stuck? No! Tractors are good at driving through mud. <laughs> and now we're going to drive along the road. Thank you for your patience. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to pick up Pepper and George. Oh, no. We're stuck in a traffic jam again. <laughs> like you said, Mummy Pig, we just have to be patient. Or maybe we could take a shortcut. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I know what I'm doing. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut. <laughs> no traffic jam for us. This is brilliant. I think we're stuck. Look, that's our car. Do you need help? No, thanks. We're fine. Um, we might be a little bit stuck. Perhaps we could use some help. Of course. Hold tight. Thank you for rescuing us, Mrs Badger. Don't thank me. Thank my tractor. Oh, yes. Thank you, tractor. Tractors are the best. Peppa loves tractors. Everybody loves tractors. Clubhouse shop. Peppa and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> what game should we play today? Let's play shop. Yay! The clubhouse has a counter, like a little shop. What are we going to sell? We've got toy plastic fruit and cheese in the fridge. The little shop is open. Ho, ho, ho. What can we buy? Plastic fruit and plastic 
cheese. Can I have some plastic cheese, please? Yes, Mummy. And maybe a plastic apple to go with it. Thank you. That will be a lot of money, please. Oh, dear. I didn't bring any money with me today. That's OK. You can use these buttons. Lovely. Here are two buttons. Thank you. <laughs> have a nice day. What else do you sell? Um, we've got my toy, Owly. Twit to woo! OK, I'll buy Owly. Here is a button. Thank you. Now Owly is yours. Ooh, it's lovely and cuddly. Can I have Owly back now? What? But I've just bought it for a button. It's just a pretend shop, Mummy. Oh, of course. Owly! Susie Sheep loves her toy, Owl. I'm feeling thirsty. Do you have any fruit juice? Um, no. Sorry, Daddy. But we can order some in. The clubhouse has a toy wooden telephone. Hello. We need fruit juice. Thank you. Goodbye. They said we'll have their fruit juice tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Next. Have you got any cakes? Yes, Mummy. We've got a cake in the toy oven. The toy oven is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. What kind of cake do you want it to be? Um, can it be a carrot cake? OK, it's a carrot cake. That looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. <sighs> it's a plastic toy cake, Mummy. It's not real. Of course. And how much does it cost? One button, please. Have a nice day. Next. What else are you selling in your shop today? Um, we've got magic clothes. Ooh, are they invisible clothes? Yes, they are made with the finest cloth. Fantastic. I'll look like an emperor. They cost five buttons. Very expensive. But I suppose that's what you have to pay for invisible clothes. You can try them on if you like, Mr Pig. Leave your old clothes here. Thank you, but I think I'll try them on at home. Have a nice day. That was quite a cue. Now it's finally my turn. I'd like to buy a... Sorry, Daddy, we're closing. Bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> It is time for the children to take a break. It is hard work running a shop. Ice cream! Here is Mr Labrador in his ice cream van. <laughs> Hello, children. What can I get you? Ice cream, please! Ice cream! Ice cream! Thank you! <laughs> Here is the money. Hang on! These are just buttons. The buttons are pretend money. Of course. Pretend money. How charming. Oh, oh, I'm afraid I haven't got any real money either. No problem, Mr Pig. We take cards. So, that's all the children's ice creams and one for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best clubhouse in the whole wide world. Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. <laughs> Everyone loves the clubhouse. Talking. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> Hab Spaß, mein kleines Lama. Das werde ich bestimmt. Ich freue mich so sehr auf mein erstes Mal im Kindergarten. What is that little girl saying to her mummy? Auf Wiedersehen. Hello there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Gazelle. Today we have a new pupil joining us. Her name is Lottie Lama. Hello, everyone. Hello, Lottie. Please make Lottie feel welcome. Yes, yes we, we will. will. Hello, Lottie. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> hello again. You were talking funny with your mummy. I was talking German. Can you do some more German talking? What shall I say? Say, hello, I'm Lottie. Hallo, ich bin Lottie. Wow! wow. Do you talk German a lot? Mostly with my mama. 
She comes from Germany. Ooh. How do you say, I like carrots? Ich mag Karotten. <laughs> How do you say, please open the window? Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Yes, that's right. Watch this. Madame Gazelle? Yes, Pedro? Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Of course. Oh, how did you know what I was saying? Because I can speak German. Ooh. If you learn languages, you can talk to all the people of the world. Say something then. Ciao, bambini. That is hello, children, in Italian. Wow. wow. Do another one. Ciao, Peño. Niemann hao. That is hello, children, in Chinese. Do it again. Oi, meninos. That is hello, children, in Portuguese. Madam Gazelle can speak all the languages of the world. Madame Gazelle, can we learn all the languages? Of course! But let's start today with German. And I think Lottie will be a very good teacher. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. The best way to learn is to play. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> OK, I'm going to teach you German. Who is good at numbers? <laughs> Me, look! One, two, three. In German you say eins, zwei, drei. Now it's your turn. <laughs> eins, zwei, drei. Wow. wow! How do I say hello, I'm Peppa Pig? <laughs> hello, ich bin Peppa Pig. <laughs> hello, ich bin Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> It is home time, and the parents have come to pick up the children. Daddy, I can talk German. That's fantastic, Pepper. I know some German words. Bitte füllen Sie mein Auto mit Kartoffeln. Wow! What does that mean? It means, please fill my car with potatoes. Ah! That's why I could never get any petrol. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Mama, Mama! Hello, Lottie. How was your first day at Playgroup? It was great. I made lots of new friends. Hello. Ich bin Peppa Pig. Wow, you can talk German. Yes, I can. Oh, meine kleine Süße. Du bist aber ein schlaues Kind. Welches ist dein Lieblingswort auf Deutsch? Uh, yes. Peppa <laughs> loves talking. Everybody loves talking. Grandpa Pig's Christmas present. It is the night before Christmas at Peppa's house. Pepper and George are asleep. Mummy and Daddy are asleep. Granny and Grandpa are here too. And they're asleep. Who is that? Ho, ho, ho! It is Father Christmas. My last delivery! Oh, why do they have to make chimneys so small? Oof. Christmas is putting presents around the Christmas tree. It is very early in the morning. Come on, George! <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, wake up! It's Christmas! Christmas! Oh, oh. what? Already? <laughs> I suppose it's just about daytime. Pepper and George are excited it's Christmas. Everybody is excited it's Christmas. Look! Father Christmas has brought presents! 
George has a toy boat. Boat, boat! Pepper has a rocket. Zoom, zoom! <laughs> Who's that big present for? It says Grandpa Pig. Open it, Grandpa. Ho, 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 ho! Ooh, that's just what I wanted. It's a drone. I don't really like the word drone. I prefer to call it a quadcopter. What does it do, Grandpa? What's this? The drone can fly. Ooh. And I can see what it is seeing on the controller. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. Wow! It's like a busy bumblebee. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> does the battery last? I don't know, but when the battery runs low, it flies home all by itself. That's clever. At the moment, it thinks home is the North Pole. Because that's where Father Christmas lives. Exactly. Perhaps you should change the home setting before you play with it, Grandpa. Oh, there's plenty of time for that, Granny Pig. Here is Mrs Duck. Duck. Hello, it's me, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? It means the battery is running low. Here it comes. Yes, all the way home. Hooray! And home is <laughs> the North Pole. Ah, yes. Perhaps I should have changed that. The drone is flying all the way to the North Pole. Oh, what are you doing back here? Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Uh, don't be sad about losing your present, Grandpa. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Ho, ho, ho! Father Christmas! At our front door! Yes, I decided not to use the chimney this time. I had this large present to deliver again. My quadcopter! Grandpa Pig loves his drone. Everyone loves drones. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! America! Pepper and George are watching Super Potato. Hoo-ha! When a trip to Hollywood to star in my new film, Vegetables in Space. Ooh! Just find the golden ticket to win the trip of a lifetime to America! Mummy, can we find Super Potato's golden ticket, please? Well, there's only one ticket in the whole world, so we'd have to be very lucky to find it. Oh, what's this in the potato? It's the golden ticket! <gasps> Does that mean...? Yes, it means we're going to America! America! Pepper and her family are flying to America. Miss Rabbit is the pilot. This is your captain speaking. We'll soon be arriving in America, I think. Does anyone know where it is? I've never been before. You can't miss it. It's really big. Is that it? Let's ask. Hello down there. Are you America? Yes, ma'am. We are. Jolly good. We're coming in to land. Welcome to America. <gasps> Miss Rabbit at your service. Where do you want to go? You're Miss Rabbit. Sure. But this is Miss Rabbit. Every town needs a Miss Rabbit. That's right. Bye. Enjoy your trip. Is this Hollywood? Hollywood? No. This is New York. Hop in. I'll give you the tour. <laughs> <laughs> New York, the city that never sleeps. 
Do you never sleep? Well, yeah, but only at night. Wow! The buildings are so tall! First stop of the tour, the Empire State Building! Wow! wow. Can we go to the top? For sure. Going up. Do you do all the jobs, Miss Rabbit? No, just the important ones. Ice creams! Ooh! We're so high in the sky! Oh, I can't look. Daddy Pig does not like heights. But there's so much to see, Daddy. Yes! With this telescope you can see even more. I can see a big green lady with an ice cream. That's the Statue of Liberty. Look at me. I miss a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Come on, people. we got to get moving. Oh, going already? Yeah, like we say in New York, if you ain't moving, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm moving. Where are we going next, Miss Rabbit? Times Square. Look at all the lights, Mummy! There must be a million light bulbs here. It's the most light bulbiest square in all the world. Oh, look! There's Super Potato! Coming soon, the new movie from Super Potato and Ash Brown, Vegetables in Space! That's a movie we're going to be in! Really? Well, then you better get straight to Hollywood! Yes. Can you take us? I'm afraid not, but I have just the thing to get you there. A motorhome! What's a motorhome? It's just like a house. On wheels! Ooh. Ooh. Here are your keys. Do you want to come too? A meat hash brown? Oh, sure. But I'm just so busy. You all have a great time. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh. I'm tired out. Yes, for a city that never sleeps, it's made me very sleepy. It has been a very busy day in New York. Good night. Night, night. night. Pepper and her family need a good night's sleep for the journey ahead. <laughs> Motorbiking. It is a lovely sunny day in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig with his raspberry patch. A little bird has come to look at Grandpa Pig's raspberries. Ah! Shoo, shoo! Cheeky birds, eat my raspberries, would you? The little birds like your raspberries, Grandpa. So do I. It's a good job I'm here to make sure they don't eat them all. Grandpa Pig, I've just had a wonderful idea. Let's go camping. Camping? Camping! <laughs> we could camp in the garden. No. Let's drive somewhere, find a nice spot and pitch a tent. But our car is at Grandad Dog's garage, being fixed. Oh, yes. What about the old motorbike? Motorbike? Yes. Grandpa and I have had many adventures on our motorbike when we were younger. Whee! <laughs> Ah, yes. That was fun. But it was a long time ago, Granny Pig. All the more reason for us to get the old motorbike out again. <laughs> Here it is. Motorbike! What's this funny thing on the side? It's called a sidecar, Pepper. You and George can sit in it. What about my raspberries? You can't take your garden with you, Grandpa. Come on, it'll be fun to get away for a bit. I suppose so. But if we're going to go, I just need to make sure my raspberries will be safe. Pepper and George, you play in the garden while I pack a bag for the trip. OK. <laughs> there. What are you doing with your raspberries, Grandpa? I'm keeping them safe from those pesky birds. Are you planting them in your shed? Um, sort of. Here we are, bags packed and ready to go camping. What are you wearing, Granny? This is my motorcycle jacket. It keeps me warm on the motorbike. Oh, my raspberries will now be safe and sound. Let's go. Very good. Do you have the helmets and goggles? Here they are. 
You must wear a safety helmet if you ride on a motorbike. All aboard! Yes, Granny Pig! Which way should we go? That way! The seaside! Hooray! Whee! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the life! <laughs> <laughs> Granny's motorbike goes brum, 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 brum. Granny's motorbike goes brum, 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 all day long. <laughs> This is Grandad Dog's garage. Hello! Fill her up, please, Grandad Dog. Granny Pig! I didn't know you had a motorcycle. Yes, we're using it while you fix our car. Well, the car is fixed. You can take it now. Oh. oh. If you don't mind, I think we'll pick it up later. We're having too much fun on the motorbike. Bye! Bye! Granny's motorbike goes brum, 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 all day long. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at the seaside. Hooray! Let's camp here. But Granny, we've forgotten the tent. No, we haven't, Pepper. This is a very special camping motorbike. Watch this. Wow! wow. The motorbike has turned into a tent. It's a magic tent. Yes, Pepper. We've got everything we need to sleep by the sea. Hooray! I hope you're not missing your raspberries too much, Grandpa Pig. Not at all, because I made a few adjustments to the motorbike this morning and brought my garden too. Wow! Your raspberry patch. <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves camping. Especially when he can bring his garden with him. 